<laughs> All right, y'all. I think we got to talk about this. Welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, hit that like button, just to find out whenever I upload. And to all my day ones, thank you for all the love, all the support, all the patience, man, the comments, welcoming me back with open arms, man. I just needed a break. But yeah, we gotta talk about this, man, because uh, I uploaded a video last week and man, the internet lost itself. I can't believe you switched the crowns. I can't believe you switched to synthetic heads on the Mo Perks. I can't believe. Oh my goodness, I can't believe. And before we getting into the sound difference and testing, let me explain as to why I did it. And as again, I've mentioned in many videos, Synthetic heads are a tool. They are meant for a specific reason, oftentimes either to preserve your hands, or in my case for this situation, was because of the weather. I had a gig that was outside. I knew it was gonna be really hot and really humid. So I made the business decision to switch to synthetic heads and uh, yeah, for both my conga and my tumba. Yeah, man, I had it for both. And um, the reason why, I, when I first initially got these drums, I actually got them as well with the hoops that go with the conga and tumba. I just got it for the conga and tumba and it was only because I knew um, I would eventually need them for an outside gig. Now, the reason why I switched to hoops is because these heads actually fit a lot better with the Remo hoops and it's an option as well that Moperk offers because I know a lot of people want synthetic heads right off the bat and Moperk does offer it just like that as is. But I, of course, am a big fan of Rawhide and yeah, as much as I wanted to play, you know, these heads for that gig, I knew, man, there was gonna, like, in that gig, there was actually a point where the sun was just beaming right on the drums and I could feel it. Like, if it was any other situation where I had these on, I knew that I either was gonna lose my tone or something was gonna happen middle of the song because of the weather. It was really humid. So these actually, you know, stood the situation, stood the weather conditions and maintained its tuning. And to be quite honest with you, I was really surprised with the sound that it came off of them, man. It was not like, you know, the other drums I had synthetic skins on and I didn't think it was gonna sound that great, but I was, Mightily pleased, really, really happy with, with the sound. Of course, still not a big fan of it. I'm always gonna prefer real skins, but for that situation, I thought it worked perfectly fine. I thought they sounded unbelievable, even with these heads on. But of course, let's actually see if we could kind of point out the difference. I will say that putting a synthetic head on a Moper drum, it just, like it makes it go on steroids, I would say. <laughs> like it just enhances the sound unbelievable. Like it, it really projected the tone of these drums. And today, I think we're gonna have a good example. We have both uh, these drums are 11.75 inch Ash, North American Ash, Moper drums. So we're gonna be able to compare it in a sense that, you know, it's the same size, same make, same, everything um the only difference i will say is i got this drum i'd say late february early march um, of this year and i got this drum april of last year so the wood of course is a little bit more broken in um, the skin is a lot more broken in but when it comes to synthetic skins it doesn't really matter they don't need to be broken in or anything like that but let's hear this out i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna test it out in three different tones um the lowest i would prefer to the highest i would prefer and it's gonna be no eq same miking same everything and i'm just gonna be going in and out uh, so you're gonna see how much of a difference these drums make and um, i'm gonna try to keep the tones and tunings exactly the same so yeah let me know what you guys think
so uh yeah a lot of stuff to to ponder about um yeah this is uh, really loud very overtony um still has that you know synthetic head ring on it um but you know as well like this is what i would always go for i would always prefer a natural rawhide but for the purpose man if if you needed something like this again synthetic heads are a tool this is a tool that that will help you in situations like the one i found myself in i found myself in that situation where i knew the weather was going to be really really bad and i needed to play and i wanted the integrity of the drum to stay in its tone and sound still pretty good and i think that even with synthetic heads these drums sound unbelievable but yeah let me know what you guys think. You already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.